So he was aware of my medical problems at the time. I have been recently recently diagnosed with a connective tissue disorder in October called Marfan's. Now, he knew I was under all these investigations and he, he was causing so much stress about an issue that did not really matter to me because I wasn't going to let them make my son sign this RGR. Um, yeah, I, I don't know how else to explain it. When you're saying evidence, the evidence is there on the phone call or the messages telling me preemptively things that are going to happen, how I'm going to feel, what I should be feeling like, who I shouldn't, should be talking to, who I shouldn't be talking to. Um, explaining to me that my son is baggage, my sister is baggage, and then there's me, and then there's him carrying me, me, my sister and my son. So I had to cut them off. Well, I'd like to jump in there. I just want to make something clear. Thank you, Kate. You just brought something to my attention. Can you come closer to your microphone, Joe? Sorry, mate. How's that? Is that any better? No, there's an angle where you're at, it's loud, and you've got an angle where it's just crap. Right, okay. Well, um, how's that? That's a lot clearer. Um, I just wanted to, to, to clarify, because um, yeah, you've got to understand that Katie is a survivor of child abuse within a care home system. Now, as we know, the Goddard Inquiry is um, springing up now and underway. Um, we've seen you know, the likes of Jana and Leon Britton disappear off to Israel. Um, we've, we've seen all of uh, the, the, the cover-ups, but we've also seen a lot of intimidation of the um, child abuse victims and cajoling and, and harassing to try and get them to, to disappear. If you look at Jason Packer um, down in Plymouth, you've got Stephen George, who was Alison Pink before he had a sex change, a Savile survivor. Um, who has now been charged with loads of um, criminal offences, sexual criminal offences, or has now been under investigation while his carer is already locked up for having videos that have got 18 certificates on them. Um, the idea is to get rid of these people, and it does sound to me, and Katie did say to me right at the start, she said, I have been targeted. Now, that is a very important issue because... When you realise that she may have been targeted and you listen to her story and then you tie in what he has done to the campaign movements around him whilst he is doing this, um, serious questions are raised. But with that, I'll pass it back to Top or yourself so you can take it from there. Top? Top? Sorry, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm just trying to find out a bit more uh, regarding uh, the situation with Julian. Are we trying to say uh, this is a, an undercover um, police officer incident? We know the history with the Met Police and other police forces in the UK. Or are we trying to say that this is uh, just a crazy batshit fucker that's just out there causing havoc amongst activist groups because he's a cunt uh what it is is uh, we've done some research obviously since katie come to us with regard to narcissism and narcissists gravitate towards other narcissists they su they support other narcissists and they massage each other's egos if you are not one of them those narcissists will bad jacket you they will isolate you they will alienate you they will they will whisper in people's ears that you are a bad person and slowly the rot spreads um, the unique situation we've got here is I personally, and I, I'm not sure whether Katie agrees 100% with me, but I, I don't really care because it's my opinion. I personally think what we've stumbled upon is a uh, predator who uses um, his family connections and knowledge of the industry. Oh, we've just found out, by the way, thanks to Smurf, who's sitting on the end of the line. I'm going to chuck it in now, Smurf, as it's important, that Dr. Stephen Coulter actually runs a family therapist's in Belfast. So, I'm sorry, guys, come on. I'm right to blow a whistle on this, because here you have a man using NLP, common purpose, and um, psychological training on vulnerable people and he's created 40 groups of vulnerable people now with that I'm going to leave you all to think that over and, and discuss it amongst yourselves and bring me back in and bear in mind there are some f here that w have got some stuff that I'm sure they want to say can but I make I a think... comment on this subject then sorry mate can I make a comment on Julian then of course you can do what you want it's your oh, show well, then, well it's not my show it's the, the, show, it's the people's show but anyway uh, I was at that protest, if you remember, Joe, I met you at that protest in the summertime, didn't we? 
Yes. Yeah. Uh, I also met Julian in Parliament Square. Okay. I've also had several Skype conversations with him in the past. Mm. Uh, so so much to the point, he's now blocked and deleted off my fucking Skype. Because uh, right, yeah. and this is my opinion. This is not factual, but in my humble opinion, and I do a lot of people work. I've got a fair idea of people. Uh, he's a fucked up freak, man. He's a what? controlling narcissistic. He tries he, to dominate no, every he's conversation not, he's in. And he's not a troll. He's a foul troll, mate. If he's a troll, I've no, not no, seen... no. He, he's not. He's not even a troll, mate. He, he's just a narcissistic control freak. Yeah, yeah. but uh, he, he's. Well, this is my opinion of of the conversations I had with him. Uh, basically, he left me with a chill down the back of my spine. I felt uh, mentally raped by him. Uh, you know, uh, basically, you know what I mean, and that's the con- that's how rough the conversations was with him, and it was just like brutally fucking yeah. controlling, and and I ain't susceptible to fucking anybody's control because you know, and that's why he's no longer on my Skype and no longer on my contacts and shit because he's a weirdo, and I didn't trust him. That I, I mean, there's, I've got no uh, foundation for that except my own gut instinct and going on the conversations I've had with him. Uh, I mean, that's, so that's just basically opinion and hearsay. Uh, but, man, dude's fucked up and freaky. Uh, it's just weird. It's just weird how he congregated around all these abused women and all, all these poor women that have got these sad stories and sad things going on in their life and they're trying to get better. And, and he's just round them like a vulture picking off bits. Yeah. And that's yeah. how I felt about it. And when, when I was asked to host this show yeah. and when I was told who the subject matter was, I was like... Oh, okay, then we could do that because, you know, everything that uh, Katie said and the word for the phrases he's using, like fucking empathic and narcissistic and all that is exact same conversations he's had with me from day, from the first conversation my lovely girlfriend at the time was there as well. She was like, get me away from him. He's weird. You know, banter. It's the same banter, bro. That's the problem. The, the, the guy has let himself, uh, the guy has uncovered himself because what he didn't realise is because... We, we are quite a tight-knit bunch throughout nationally. So um, when when the, let me give you a quote tonight, right, from Russell Burton, who can't be here. And yes, I did phone him today. And yes, I did speak to him today because he's my friend. And he's always been my friend. And I think this is where Julian has underestimated the friendships between the key activists nationally. Because the quote from Russell Burton is that Julian Coulter came to him two weeks ago and whispered in his ear that Gordon Bowden had uncovered that I was a co-intel agent and working for the government, right? <laughs> I can hear him laughing, right? But he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Kiss a sub. Oh, fucking hell, <laughs> Joe. I think anybody knows you, right? <laughs> I would just be laughing at that. You may be many fucking things, Joe, but you ain't that. <laughs> The right cunt, but I'm not, you know, I'm not government. But the thing is, it, that Russell was astute enough to know that because Russell and Mickey Summers are friends, and Mickey Summers is a CSA survivor, that that information would be passed to Mickey in the hope he could divide mine and Mickey's friendship. Yeah? So the idea was to get me away from Mickey Summers. Now, I'm going to bring Mickey Summers in right now so he can pick the story up because... Once you go down the whole block, it will take us till about 11. Once you go down, the whole block of people sat on this panel tonight, you will see categorically that this man has woven a web of lies between us to divide us and dismantle the UK national activist movement. And that is what we are going to expose tonight on top of... Can I jump in quickly before you uh, transfer over and let somebody else take over two minutes? When you, um, I I can't remember who was speaking, but whoever said, um, are we sort of swaying along the lines of, is Julian an agent or is he just a predator and a psycho? Um, There's not actually much difference between an agent provocateur or a predator because the this you know, a predator that in this case is preying on vulnerable people the only difference is that one's ruining the actual aim of the org- of the cause and the organization and the other one's just ruining the person solely so there's not actually much difference the one gets paid for it and one and the other does it for their own self satisfaction 
Yeah, we, we either way, they're still getting gratification for it, aren't they? I feel a bit left out that I haven't, uh, I haven't met this Julie. You know, I'm not obviously special enough now. No, Stella, <laughs> you, you just passed it. Now you're old. You're old news. Uh, yeah, sorry. no, that's what I was thinking. I think I'm just getting too old in the game, and everybody goes, "No, it's I think not it's worth trying." Thing it. you... She'll just put you on your arse. Well, I think it's a good thing that you're out the press for now. <laughs> well, I'm back in it in a couple of weeks. Don't worry about that. Awesome. Well, feel free to come on now and talk about it if you can. What, are we on about me or somebody else? <laughs> you. We can always have you on do a separate show because you've got quite a wild story to tell, haven't you? It's quite a long one as well, to be honest. Yeah, it's uh, it's it long-winded and a little it? bit wild, but we'll be setting another uh, law changer shortly in the next coming months, so watch this space. Good, good. Right, shall we throw Mickey up for you, sir, before we lose the thread of what was being said? Go for uh, it. Stella, do you know...